bit of prior preparation and planning. Prevents piss poor performance, all the piece. Uh, so I'm about to put these um, bearings in. Some people might call them bushings. They're for the hoist pivot for the bin body on the back. We go up in there. Pretty idiot proof. Um, they're an interference fit, so freeze them down with liquid nitrogen. Steel will shrink, punch it in the hole until it sits flush on the face. So I've already gone through and measured how far they go in, make sure there is a gap in the middle, but there's a little notch that'll line up with the grease port and then allow the grease to go all the way around. Um, yeah, that's about that. Let's get to it. Spacer in there, seeing as it goes in nice and easy, and uh, that'll pull that in, then pull the other one in, and Bob's your Arnie. So I, um, I had the bearing in liquid nitrogen to freeze it a bit, so as I said before, but it uh, got stuck halfway, so I've had to get the hollow uh, in a pack cylinder out, quarter power cylinder, and pull it in the rest of the way. 
and it's got this recess here so I've just put one of the other bushes in there just to pull it in the last little bit and uh, it is in so I'm just gonna put this one in around the other side I will I will freeze it down a bit a little bit but I'm not gonna fuck around I'm just gonna use the porter power cylinder rather than swinging the hammer it's not uniform it's not uh, consistent and um, there so I'll freeze it down I'll slip that around so that I've got the arrangement on the other side so literally all I've got to do is put the cap on and have to worry about supporting the weight of the cylinder and just pull that one in and I'll uh, video it while I do it and it will go in smoothly so if I didn't explain before too I put marks here to line up where this grease port is it's not super critical because there is a gap between the two but as you can see just there there are recess for the uh, for the grease port so all I've done is just line up where the little notch is there put those lines there so I always know where it is once you get it started it's not going to rotate in there because it is an interference fit but it's all about prior preparation and planning yeah here we go Yes. So that one went a little bit easier. I left it in liquid nitrogen a bit longer. And it literally just slid in. Um, yeah, job done. There's not really much more to say on it except it's in. Just sitting past the recess of the lip, and that's in. It's just a touch beyond flush. So it's a little bit out on this flat face there. That's uh, a little bit closer to flush, just up there. Job done, baby. Job done.